Hello everyone. Uh, I will start with a new uh, subcommand that we have uh, in Thanos. So if you do uh, Thanos dash dash help, uh, you can see uh, that uh, there is a new subcommand that is install. And what it does, it basically installs packages uh, that are uh, present in log files, so either in pip file log or uh, requirements.txt. Under the hood, it uses micropipenv, and uh, with this change, micropipenv is basically used uh, in all our integrations, so S2i, uh, Tamos, CLI, uh, and also uh, Jupyter uh, notebooks. So if I issue Tamos install, uh, then uh, the uh, installation will uh, will install dependencies, but as of now it does not because I did some some changes locally. Uh, this is also showing uh, that we are checking uh, that uh, the pip file log hash corresponds to the pip file hash in case uh, of not. Uh, matching hashes, that means that there are some, some changes uh, done. Uh, if I now issue something like tamos advice dash dash install, and first I remove the log file, and now I, I do tamos advice install. In this case, uh, there is performed requests to our uh, endpoint. Uh, there is obtained pip file log that is uh, produced by the recommendation engine together with uh, application stack guidance and uh, recommended step report, and the uh, uh, installation process starts uh, using uh, micropipenv. So uh, this way, uh, we integrated micropipenv into Tamos CLI. There is one big uh, advantage of using uh, this in one tool. So if you uh, or installing dependencies using uh, Tamos. So if you take a look at uh, Tamos, oh, sorry, .yaml file, you can see that there is a requirements format, and this configuration option is automatically picked uh, on uh, installation. So uh, there can be also files like requirements.txt, uh, poetry uh, uh, log file formats, or pipen log file formats, but the installation process will correctly pick uh, the uh, requirements uh, file that uh, should be picked based on uh, the configuration option. Uh, if you take a look at our repositories, for example, Advisor, uh, you will spot that we have requirements.txt that are specific for uh, the library, uh, Advisor library, and uh, pipend files that are specific for uh, the Advisor as a component that is deployed uh, inside uh, the cluster. So this way, uh, using this configuration option, we know that the installation process will pick the right requirements file and uh, we'll use it uh, in uh, the installation process. Uh, this also enables us later on to create uh, multiple log file formats for, for different runtime environments and have Tamos managing these uh, log file formats uh, and uh, uh, perform installation specific for, uh, for example, runtime environments where we create uh, overlays. And that's probably it. Do you have any questions? I think we should update the S2I images using Thomas Advice now, right? Yes. Yes. Do uh, you create issues for that or sh do we need to do that? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can create an issue. It's basically just ah, it's basically just replacing micro and no, it's merging the Tamos advice call that is present anyways and the micro and install call, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sounds easy. Uh, it will somehow diverge uh, with uh, the upstream SUI because right now we rely on micro and that is already present in the upstream. Uh, S2I container images, uh, but uh, we have uh, this, these advantages that I stated. Yeah. Cool. Uh, any other question? Thanks for this one, Frido.